As we start to take a look at how some of the News for Jack Super 10 teams performed tonight, uh, we had some big games and definitely some nice rematches. So that sets us up with some big games for next week. Yeah, big game next week. And anytime you heard Matt Tobin talk about it earlier, anytime you can practice on Thanksgiving, that is the goal of every football team in Florida and Georgia. And these teams up on the wall here are doing just that. All right, let's talk about the teams that do get to practice. You picked out a couple yep. of very special matchups here. Yep. Uh, so we have to start. Let's start with Camden County. Uh, big win for the Wildcats, getting back to the quarterfinals, first time since yep. 2012. Yeah, good for Jeff Heron and the Wildcats going up to McEachern and getting it done. They got a tough one next week, though, against unbeaten Mill Creek. And then there's Pierce County right yep. above them. This is a big, uh, big role for them as they yep. continue through the playoffs. Bears keeping on going. They got Fellowship uh, Christian Academy next week at home. That's a nice one for uh, the, the Bears up there. All right, let's move right on down the wall just a little bit here. We've got Ware County here and Union County. Both teams very excited to be yeah. still in the playoffs uh, at this point. Hey, Ware County, that big win against Warner Robins was rematch of the state championship game last year. Ware County has won seven playoff games in a row. And Union County, they knocked off Fort White tonight. Nine and one Indians go home after the playoff opener of Union County. They go to Madison next week. Boot Hill, one of the toughest places in the state to play. All right. Now we've got a couple of these. We've got to get to the, towards the teams that were the top in your Super 10 when you, you finally wrap things up. That number one team, St. Augustine, just keeps on rolling. Keeps, you know, in sloppy conditions tonight. I don't know who said it was not supposed to rain tonight, but it was nasty down at the AUG tonight. But again, defense, they look extremely well. And it slowed that passing attack down. That defense and running game, extremely good for St. Augustine. And then the Bartram Trail Bears have earned the right to take on Buholtz. It wasn't a pretty game the first Ooh. time around. Buholtz has been rolling through everybody, but the Bears may be a chance for a little bit yeah. of revenge. A, a rematch of last year's regional final. Buholtz spoiled Bartram Trail's perfect season last year in the third round. Bartram a chance to spoil Buholtz's season in the third round next week. All right, and you picked out two more matchups. We got one here, or a couple more matchups. Here's one that's a, a, that's a little off. Yeah, it's not Providence. Off. It's Orlando Christian Prep taking on Trinity Christian. But we saw Trinity Christian take down their rival revenge for last year's right. playoffs where UC sent Trinity home. Right, you know, so Trinity, a good shot. OCP, we thought it would be them all along, and Trinity. Very good one. OCP's 10 and 1. Trinity, a Christian is Trinity. That redemption against UC tonight, very good. And then, hey, Bowles, Bishop Moore, that's a great one. Bishop Moore, a little bit of size, gave Riverside problems, but Bowles has been in the state semifinals four straight seasons under Matt Toblin. All right, quickly, the last two matchups we got up here on the board Bradford and Baker County, a local on local matchup. And then Mandarin got a little bit of revenge against Lake Mary tonight. Big win for the Mustangs, big win for Baker County and or Bradford. Yeah, so Mandarin lost to Seminole in the first round last year, a game they probably should have won. I Thought they'd have beat Lake Mary tonight had they eliminated the turnovers. They did that. Huge win for the Mustangs and Coach Toby Bullock. And Bradford is Bradford. They get that redemption game against Baker County. They beat them last year to get the state semifinals. A lot of exciting playoff action. We're going to have highlights of all of that coming your way next week right here on Channel 4 as we continue through it. Make sure you check out the Varsity Podcast to keep up with everything. Thanks for joining us here on News for Jacks. Your news at 11 starts next.